similar to a lot of audition processes, but it was kind of interesting. It reminded me a little bit of maybe a movie or a television show. Uh, sitting out in the green room waiting to be called back to the audition, you, you would see all of these different characters sitting around you, and then there were people that came in there that didn't fit any of the descriptions that we had seen on the Internet for the different characters in the film, and I wondered why they were there. I thought maybe perhaps they thought that there would be craft services there and they were going to get to get something to eat. Other than that, it was like any other audition. How was the shooting? Well, other than the fact that uh, it was extremely late and at my age you go to bed with the sun and the chickens. Other than that, it, it was fine. You know, it was, uh, we filmed real late and got to meet the makeup guy for about two and a half hours while he put a lot of makeup on me, which was so much fun. Well, since he's probably going to be seeing this piece after we get through, and perhaps he's listening at this very moment, I would have to tell you what a wonderful person he is. No, seriously, he, he is, he's, uh, he's very knowledgeable, and I think he's had the opportunity uh, through his other work experiences, as well as film work, to get what we need for this kind of film, with the special effects that are in this film, and his expertise. Uh, I'm really excited about the film, I can't wait till we see it. Well, they're, they're like uh, the actors you see in, in most films. They're you know, a little strange. I felt like I was the only sane one in the bunch. But other than that, it was, uh, it was really nice. No, no seriously, they're, they're really nice people. They're all real talented. And uh, we've seen the trailer, and it's, it's quite good. And, and the actors, it's, it's like they're really living these parts, like they are these people, which is kind of what actors are supposed to be. I do, I find it extremely exciting. I've always enjoyed science, and I think this is gonna be really neat. Uh, the, there are a lot of things that Tesla did that are, that are questioned or questionable, and somebody once said that he had a fine mind, but he was half insane, and perhaps that's true, and there was a lot of mystery surrounding his death and, and what happened to some of the things that he had, which is one of the reasons that makes the story so interesting, I think. And actually, uh, Faraday and Tesla's lives overlapped a little bit, I think 12, at least 12 years that, the, that they overlapped in life, which is, which is good. And the fact that there's a mystery surrounding Tesla is one of the things that, for example, makes, that has made, or that the same type of thing is what made the Da Vinci Code interesting. There are certain questions about the Knights Templar, and questions that are unanswered and because of history, or the span from history from when they lived till now that you can't answer, which allows the story to be so interesting. And the same thing's true with Tesla. There are a lot of mysteries about the man and some of the things that he did during his life, and that, that's going to make this story real interesting.